Well, I have nothing to say to you. Are you sure you're not maybe blowing this out of proportion? You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have lost control like that. Oh, you can lose control around me anytime. I don't mind. Right. I think I'm just going to be heading back now. Thanks for the cake. Wait. Does the flirting upset you? If it does, I never meant for it to... And that's part of the problem. Do you remember when I said you reminded me of my best friend? Well, she does the same thing. She flirts with everyone and none of it means anything. It's just the way she speaks. But it's never bothered you before. If it's because an issue that it means nothing, does that mean that you want it to mean something? Despite myself, I felt my cheeks hit up at his suggestion. Can I take that as a yes? No. Crap, this was not supposed to happen. I didn't come here looking for romance. So, you don't want it to mean something, but you don't like that it means nothing? Stop confusing me. Come on, brain, say something. I... He suddenly pulls me closer before whispering in my ears. I need to know. I couldn't suppress a shiver, although whether it was from the feel of his breath coasting across my ear or his low tone of voice, I'm not sure. No, that's not fair. That sexy voice isn't fair at all. You're playing dirty. Am I? Don't think that you can seduce me like the others. Then it's okay if I seduce you a different way. What? He slowly pulled back to stare at me with his beautiful blue eyes. I could feel myself being drawn in and the gentle touch of his hand on my cheek only amplified that. He hesitantly drew closer until our lips were mere inches apart. His eyes searched mine before he gently closed the cap. I felt something like a spark pass through me and started to respond to his kiss. I reached up to move my arms around his neck, drawing him even closer. There's no harm in indulging in just one kiss, right? My response seemed to fuller his own as he deepened the kiss and then pulled my body flush against his. When we finally pulled apart, I was a little out of breath. He moved back slightly around a hand with his hair before speaking. So, can I take that as a yes? I took a step back and looked away, unable to hold his gaze. I see. Can I at least know why? Because I'm not like you. This entire time was like a fairy tale, but all fairy tale must come to an end. I have a life to go back, and so do you. I just don't think they would ever mesh well together. Then what if I say I'll make it work? You can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I just... I can't take that risk. We can still be friends. Friends. Alright. There is obviously nothing I can do to change your mind. Thank you for understanding. You gave a short, stiff nod in acknowledge. I think I'm going to head back to the mansion. I'll see you tomorrow, right? Another curt nod. I took one last look at him, standing there and left. I woke up and immediately realized something was different. What the... The room looks so different. Is this even the same room? My costume is here at least. I just finished changing when Eric's announcement don't play. Now, maybe we'll get some answers. Instead of Eric's voice, only static could be heard. I wonder if there's something wrong with this thing? The static just kept getting louder before abruptly cutting off to be replaced with his announcement tone. So much for that, I guess I'll head to the team room. I opened the door only to freeze. What the? It's so different out here, too. What happened last night? I look around to see if there was some sort of clue or serpent around, but there was no one inside. There's usually always someone around. If I just keep looking, I'm bound to run into someone. My mind made up. I took off down the corridor. I had just run a corner when I heard someone call out to me. Miss Archer, I look around to see the cow on the other side of the corridor. Count, I take it that you woke up to an unusual room as well then? Yeah, 
Any idea where we are? If I had to hazard a guess, I would say somewhere in Eric's mansion. Um, this must be one of those areas that was specifically made for this event. Have you, uh, have you seen any of the others? No, but they must be around here somewhere. It wouldn't really make sense to only move some of us. I really don't want to think about the fact that someone moved us in the middle of the night. Suddenly, the lights flicker before plunging us into darkness. Huh, looks like someone forgot to pay the electricity bill. I smiled at his comment. Maybe they went over their budget? A few seconds later, the lights came back on. Guess not, I suppose we should get moving. You're probably right. The quicker we get this task done, the quicker the quicker we can get rid of me. Did you say something? No, nothing at all. I hesitated, but didn't push him. Okay, let's go. He waited until I bridged the gap between us so we could walk side by side. We walk along the corridor with an awkward silence between us.